Hey, it's Steve here from Prima Coffee, and today we're going to do a comparison between the Anna from Lalit and the Sylvia from Ranchilio. First, let's run through what they both share. They are both single boiler machines, so you can't brew coffee and steam milk at the same time, and they are both semi-automatic machines. So what that means uh, in function here is that in order to start brewing coffee, in order to start pulling your espresso, you need to turn the coffee button on and to stop uh, brewing it, you need to hit it again so it turns it off. Uh, and so that is different from automatic espresso machines where you can program those shots by uh, volume or by time. Um, so when you hit the on button on those, you can walk away, of course, and they'll stop when the shot is done. But you can't do that on these. As far as temperature goes, these do not have PIDs. So in order to regulate the temperature, these are both going to use thermostats. They're also outfitted with three-way solenoid valves, which is a great feature to have on any espresso machine. Uh, and so for the practical purpose, that just means that when you, when you stop brewing your shot, uh, the water is gonna stop uh, being pulled through uh, the coffee or into the puck. And so it's gonna be relatively dry when you remove it. They also both have the nice feature of dispensing hot water if you want. So if you wanna make Americanos or if you wanna add some hot water to, to tea, uh, you can do that through these wands. There is no independent hot water dispensing uh, on these. You do it through the steam wand. Um, each of them has its own way of doing it, but it's pretty similar. Over here, there is a little button. It looks like a water droplet. When you hit that, the pump will start. And as long as it's not up to temperature for steaming, which is something else we'll show you in a minute, you can open the valve over here and hot water starts to come out. You can turn that off when you're done. And you can do the same thing over here. There is no independent button like that this for the water droplet for dispensing this. Um, so what you're gonna do is when it's at brew temperature, what you can do is you can hit the steam and then you can hit the brew and you can hear the pump start and then you can go ahead and open and hot water will start coming out. So then when you're done with that, you can hit both of them and bring it back to where it was. So let's talk about the differences and then we can jump into showing you uh, how both of these operate. The biggest difference that you're gonna find here is that the Anna has a 57 millimeter group. So the Porta filter over here is 57 millimeter, whereas over here uh, on the Sylvia, it is 58. And you can kind of see the difference there. This is uh, more substantial. Uh, it's heavier. The basket is going to be a little different size. That's not really gonna affect how the coffee tastes. You can make great coffee, great espresso on, on both of these machines. So for practical purposes, what that means is that if you want to accessorize, it's going to be much easier to do over here on the Sylvia. There are many more parts available for 58 millimeter groups. So your tampers, your baskets, your porta filters. Um, but over here on the Anna, you're, you're a little bit more limited. There is a bottomless porta filter that, that we sell. Uh, and there's a tamper that we sell as well. That's 57 millimeter. Um, but you're not going to find as many precision tampers out there as you're going to find for, for 58 and many baskets. Uh, it also means that if you ever want to upgrade from the Anna uh, from a 57 over to a 58, um, all those accessories that you buy, you're not going to be able to use. Another difference on these is the boiler size. Uh, the boiler on the Anna is 250 milliliters and the boiler on the Sylvia is 300 milliliters. So that's not really a huge difference. Um, but what we have found is when you want to move from the brewing temperature to the steam temperature. So again, these are single boiler machines. So uh, after brewing, you're gonna to need to hit the steam button on both of these, uh, which is right here on the Anna and down here uh, on the Sylvia. And when you hit that button, it'll immediately start to heat up to steam temperature. Um, so what that means is that it'll get hot enough so that out of here, instead of water coming out, you're gonna get steam coming out. So when you hit those buttons, you're gonna to wanna to release a little water from the boiler by turning the valve on these so that it heats up faster. But overall, it's still gonna heat up way faster over here on the Anna. Those 50 milliliters make a huge difference. Um, and it's gonna take a couple minutes to heat up over here on your Sylvia. So if that's a consideration, if that's important to you that it heats up really fast, uh, the Anna heats up faster. Cosmetically, you can also see that the, the steam wand over here uh, on the Anna is, is much smaller. Uh, it has a little plastic you can see right here a little plastic handle so you can move it around. It doesn't actually uh, move in all orientations. It just rotates like this. Uh, whereas the steam one over here on the Sylvia, uh, it has this silicone sleeve, which is a lot nicer um, than, than this here. They both protect you from, from getting burnt, uh, but this one's a little nicer. And it also, you can see the orientation here is 
any way that you would like to move it, it will move. The water tanks on these are pretty much the same size. Um, to fill the water tank over here on the Anna, your best bet is to go ahead and take this out. So you take these tubes out and then you can pull out the tank and you can see that that there is about 2.7 liters, uh, which is a little bigger than the one that you're gonna get over here on the Sylvia. The Sylvia, you can actually just fill up uh, by removing this. You don't have to remove the tank because you have total access to it and the tank has a wide mouth. But as you saw there on the Anna, or as you can see, the tank has that little small hole to fill. And so it's definitely more difficult to try to do inside. But you can see that they're a little bit different. Uh, this is 2.7, this is 2.2. A final difference that's important to note that you've probably already seen is cosmetic. There is a pressure gauge over here on the Anna so you can see what the pressure is uh, when you're pulling a shot and there is no pressure gauge over here on the Sylvia. So to make coffee on both of these is, is gonna be the same as you're gonna do with any other espresso machine. So you're gonna dose your coffee, you're gonna tamp, uh, and like I said, the tamper um, options, so the accessories that you can get for the Sylvia are gonna be, gonna be more um, than you can get over there on the Anna. All right. So to brew, you have the brew button here on the front. It's just a little coffee cup. Uh, and there is no timer. So if you wanna track the time on the shot, you're gonna to need to have an independent timer uh, or use a scale that has a timer on there. And then like I said, semi-automatic, so when you're done, when you want the shot to end, you'll have to hit that brew button again. It's a three-way solenoid valve, so it'll stop right there. So there's your shot. And, and so to steam, so to go from uh, the brewing to the steaming, like I said, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the steam button here, uh, and it'll show it on here. It has a little light that shows you that it's heating up. When that light goes off, you are ready to go ahead and, and steam your milk, but uh, you wanna let out a little water here so that you can make room for the steam in that boiler. So I let out some water uh, and then I'm going to let that heat up. So the light is off here and so we're ready to start steaming. You want to go ahead and purge a little bit out there. Uh, then you're ready to go. You can get a really good vortex going uh, with the Sylvia here. It has only one hole in the steam tip. Um, but it is really powerful, um, especially compared against the Anna here. Also really fast. Really, really nice. So you'll be able to get latte art if you can do that sort of thing. There we go. Okay, the Anna, just like the Sylvia here, again, semi-automatic, so you're gonna put your portafilter in. And in order to brew coffee, there is a coffee button here. It looks like a little coffee cup, and there's a steam button, and since we're brewing coffee, we'll semi-automatic, so when you're done with the shot, you're gonna have to turn it off. And turn it off there. So it's the same over here as we did on the Sylvia. When we're moving from brewing to steaming, we wanna hit that steam button, which is this one. Uh, the light will go out. When that light comes back on, that means you're ready to steam. It's up to steaming uh, temperature. Like we did over here, we wanna let a little water out of the boiler uh, to make room for that steam. Okay. So when that light is on, we are ready to start um, steaming. Uh, same thing, we're gonna purge a little bit of that steam. Okay. Uh, you can hear it, so it's pretty powerful, um, but it does take a little longer to steam over here. And again, you can't move that wand everywhere that you might want to move it. Um, so it's more difficult to get that vortex. So you can get it, but it does take some practice. Just a little harder to get the right texture 
you can see it was still a little thin, um, but with practice, you can, you can do the same thing over here with this one. It's much easier to do on the Sylvia than it is on the Anna. So one other thing to note is uh, once you've steamed your milk and you want, if you want to return it back to the coffee temperature, um, so you turn off the steam button on both of these, um, it's going to be really hot at the group. So you're not going to want to make coffee uh, right away. We can go ahead and you can see that steam is going to come out. So if you purge some of that water, kind of bring it back down to temperature, that's probably the best way to do it. Um, but you're still going to want to wait a little bit before brewing coffee. The same is true over here on uh, the Anna. So that is a comparison between the Anna from Lalit and the Silvia from Ranchilio. To find more information about these, you can head on over to our website where we've written a blog comparing tons of home espresso machines. Thanks for watching.